everybody, and welcome to the March 22nd, 2021 uh, community meeting. Uh, I am Boogie. Um, we are going to uh, keep the same format as we usually do on these meetings. Uh, we'll start off with a couple of announcements from each of the teams that have some uh, announcements for us, and then we'll be moving to a Q&A channel in the uh, hashtag community meeting and discord uh please give yourself uh give some uh questions in there if you have any um thank you guys for showing up also the people that will be watching this later on the stream or watching now on the stream appreciate you guys coming out um i am a little bit under the weather so if you hear me cut out it's because i'm sneezing or coughing so um we'll start off uh with mission dev uh, today, Mission Dev has for us a reminder that all SOP, that SOP Basic, that uh, about SOP Basics, that Arma and Squad both get uh, both basics that apply to uh, all games we host. So if you take it in Squad, it applies to Arma. Arma applies to Squad. Uh, Mission Dev will uh, will have a forum slash poll for what players want in Arma and squad ops missions uh, i will be posting that right now that is in the community meeting channel uh next up we have admin uh admin is looking for more admins uh especially uh encourage eu players to apply so uh all the uh Staff uh, application is all in the README. Uh, make sure to check that out if you uh, wish to become an admin. Uh, now moving on to SOT. SOT is also looking for some staff. You can fill out the staff application there or message AM Blackbeard or Stalker for any additional information. Next up, we have Media Team. If you see a moment during the event streams on Twitch, Clip it and post a link in Ops Media or on our Reddit. Uh, I'll be posting a link to the Reddit here in a minute. Uh, we are building uh, collections of clips to show during intermissions. Uh, we are seeking graphic artists as well to create still and motion images. So if that is something that you are skilled in, please sign up on the staff app for that as well. Uh, next up, leadership team. Squad Ops has a new staff team called Leadership, which will help monitor leadership in Squad Ops and all games and events to ensure quality and experiences, immersion, and tactics during our events. The team will is looking for people who want to SL in our Ops so that they can go through the program to earn their tags. Uh, fill out the interest form that I will be linking here in one second. That way uh, the team knows who is interested. Uh, it is being linked now. Squad Ops expects our, stat our squad leaders to provide uh, you, the community, with a good and welcoming experience. And part of ensuring that that will be the uh, leadership team. They will help new SLs through mentoring and feedback. And those, uh, those who possess exceptional skill and ability to lead others and are willing to teach and mentor will be asked to join the leadership team as staff. Other announcements we have. A uh, reminder, the reg uh, expression of interest form exists. Uh, please check the hashtag readme. That is where you can find that uh, expressive interest form. Uh, that way, guys, we can, we can see you guys. Uh, we know who to look out for. Sometimes we can't see everybody. And uh, this just says, hey, you know, I want to, I'd like to pursue to be in a reg. Um, and put your name on there. Um, also, another announcement. 
Post your squad and squad ops related clips and memes to the uh, subreddit or to our Reddit we have. Um, that is being linked here now. Um, we've recently restarted that, guys. So if you'd like to uh, have it, another place to put your your media at or your memes or, or stuff like that, that's a great place to put it. It's we want to start using a lot more. And finally, we have a media contest coming up for that subreddit. So. Uh, you'll have, uh, until next Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern to submit a meme or clip, uh, or video or anything Squad Ops related to, uh, to the media contest 2021, uh, Q1 flare. Make sure to put that flare on your post so that we are able to see it. We will have three winners. One will be staff. One will be a regular, and one will be a public player. $25 Steam cards will be the prize. Please note, if you post in the contest, uh, Media Team might use your clip for the in intermission video as well uh, that was talked about earlier. And that seems to be all the announcements we have today, guys. So, again... Uh, please look or please start posting community meeting, uh, posting some questions you may have. Um, those links that I was speaking of are in there as well. So feel free to take a look at that. Um, in the meantime, any managers have anything they want to add while we're waiting on questions? I do. I, uh, since... Okay, I'll just read what I have. Got so my dev is still working on bug fixes and additions to the event mod, as well as a couple bits of cleanup for hardcore. Uh, unfortunately, neither us nor OWI have fixed the server read issues or versioning issues yet, but we are still working to get those issues fixed. Uh, we expect to have more content, perhaps a couple mod tests in the coming weeks. I can't give specific dates at this time. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. Thank you, Rubba. Feel free to uh, post your questions in there, guys. If you're in Twitch, uh, I'm looking at that as well. So if you have any questions and you're in Twitch, not in Discord, feel free to put it there. Um, looks like we have our first one. Uh, is the SOT announcement... Uh, Apple... Applicable... Okay. Um, I'm not sure what you mean there, dude. Streaming this on Twitch. Correct. Yeah, we we are streaming on Twitch. Um, is the SOT announcement? Go ahead and clarify that one. I'll, I'll get back to it. Is there any interest in doing hardcore events where the same as the public mod server, but closed to SOT basic tag people? I mean, that's basically what our uh, event mod is. Um, it's not exactly to a T, but uh, it is definitely something you know along the same lines there. Um, so I hope that kind of answers your question. Kimchi, do you need to be a reg to fill out the staff app? Good question. You do not. Even if you are not a regular on the uh, Discord, you can still fill out a staff app, and they will be looked at. Um, we do require that you are 18+. plus. Uh, we do require uh, some other, you know, been around for a little bit. Obviously, people who just join in and do an application aren't going to be looked at as much as somebody who we know. So uh, keep that in mind. But yes, uh, public players can fill out staff applications. When are we getting a competitive squad platoon? I seriously 100% doubt we will ever do uh, competitive at squad ops here. Um, tried before, did not work. Just not something we are built to do. Uh, when will King of the Hill mod come back? Occup occupation. Um, so, Rubba, is that uh, kind of what you got into before? or That is a firm soon TM. We have no idea. We're working on it. We'll see what happens. Excellent.
Uh, yes. Uh, so one person asked, uh, interested in hardcore and I'll be interested in anything. Will you have to do basic or training or site in order to play in our operations? You must have, uh, you must complete the SOT basic course. Uh, this is, um, this is necessary to get into our events. And that's why these people have green tags. Uh, they have completed the basic. And um, that is how they are able to participate. Now, uh, they're on the website. So uh, continue looking at for SOP basics on the website. They're posted quite regularly. Um, yeah, as Stalker said, SOP basic for goes for both games. Um. Do you guys have any squad operations that involve escorting a VIP? We have quite a few, I think. Um, I would say quite a few, maybe maybe a handful. Um, not necessarily escorting, but definitely protecting a VIP is something that is uh, that is something we do in our operations. Boogie, do you have a cold? I think I have a sinus infection. It's very very inconvenient. Uh, any news on CQC training? I know it's been in the works for a while. Any updates? Anybody in SOT able to answer that? That is a hard soon TM, same as the uh, event mod. We are still working on getting everything smoothed over, and uh, we'll get it out to you guys as quick as possible. A lot of soon TMs, guys. Um, King asks, should we submit uh staff apps every few months or should it just be done once and wait for you guys to reach out um i would do it periodically i wouldn't do it every every couple weeks um if if you feel that that's also why uh you can you can you can dm leadership ams of the of the team if if you need uh but really just put in that staff app if if we're if you're something we're looking for then uh we will we will reach out to you um you know no hard feelings if 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 you're not reached out to. Uh, it's nothing against you. It's just uh, you, may, you may not have something that we're looking for necessarily. But definitely, definitely submit your staff apps, guys. If you guys want to be, um, if you guys want to be staff, uh, let's not do mean questions, boys. Uh, I did all the applications. When are we going to get an answer on them? Again, it is on a base of. Your your skill set first, second, uh, how long you've been around, um, yeah, that's basically it. just wait and uh, and if you haven't heard anything, in a couple months, go ahead and, and try another. Um, what does it take to become a regular? So a regular is somebody that's been around that is uh that has been recommended by somebody and also somebody who has put in the, uh, expressive interest form, um, 18 plus, uh, somebody who's been around a, a while that we, that we have all or most of us have seen and, and talked to and, 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 and think that you are, uh, fit the mold of our regular. Um, there's more stuff about it in a read me. I'm not going to go fully into it, but, uh, definitely check out the read me in there. Oh, uh, yes, Stalker, intro to squad. If you're brand new to squad, come out to the uh, the course tomorrow, 5.30 Eastern. It is a intro to squad. So um, if you're very green, not m really sure what to do, head on over there. They'll help you out. I like squad more chunky. Why do we park in the... Okay, sh damn it, Bartok. Uh, will we get an experience uh, player-only server where you have to have basic to enter it as a uh, whitelist-only server? Uh, I've not heard anything about that. I, I, something we could probably talk about, but um, I wouldn't put anything as a uh, soon TM for that one. In creating ops... Can we possibly have a place where you can submit your own missions so you guys can look at uh, at it for your uh, for a chance to be played? Uh, ops are run by Xbit. 
our the what ops are created and everything our mission dev and expert um i don't believe he's taking any submissions at this time for any ops dorfus what do you recommend for people who are new to arma or looking to join us in our arma events we have arma foundations you do not have to be completely well versed in a game that has way too many keybinds you can uh, get passed by just doing a cup with us. Um, doing that, um, the foundations will really give you a, a, what we need for what we do. Uh, you'll get a base knowledge, and it's it's really informative. I like I said before many times, I was very new to Arma when I started playing um, for ops. And um, doing that course really helped me out. I would highly recommend you guys take a look into the Arma Foundations. Yes, uh, thank you, Clay, for clarifying that. Uh, our events are posted on the README. Um, also, uh, all over the place on our website, you can kind of tell when the uh, the events are, uh, if that time schedule works for you. Um, is there talk or still making a formal SL training course? So that is what the leadership team is about now. Um, they are going to be the ones uh, handling all the SL stuff. Uh, Again, uh, that that is a new, whole new staff team. So if you guys want to uh, apply for that, you think you got it, what it takes to be a squad leader and uh, be able to mentor and and teach a little bit, uh, sign up for the leadership team. Are we going to have a an armor server that we when we're not running ops, we can just play with others? Not at this time. Um, you know, it takes money and, and, and bandwidth to, to have a server up. Uh, I don't, I don't expect us to have any public servers up for Arma. Um, if anybody's got any other clarification on that, you can pipe in. Um, with the addition of more, uh, advanced medical systems in Arma, have we considered a medical SOT? SOT, have you considered a medical SOT? Uh, something that we could probably look into. Uh, that's definitely a Phoenix question, though, yeah. Yeah, that's something we can table. Um, but that's as it stands now, that's not something we've genuinely considered just yet. But, I mean, you never know. It, we'll, we'll definitely discuss it moving forward. Any update on ropes on heli? Uh, fast ropes are overrated, guys. But yes, take a look at that Trello. That is definitely something. Who is in charge of the squad leading team? Uh, just fill out an application. Um, I wouldn't go up, out and, and trying to reach out to anybody. Um, but so uh, a quick thing for that uh, that form. That form is just if you're you know a non-reg so a public player so most of you just that are basic certified it's if you are interested in becoming an sl uh we'll look through that you know it does not guarantee you the chance of sling in the operations we're kind of just trying to gauge interest and the leadership experience of everyone it's just if you just read the description of the form that's exactly what it is it's it's not an application where you know we're accepting x people this that it's just a way to gauge interest um and possibly elevating uh noticed and well good leaders thank you evan um will there ever be ops where we use the role sniper marksman or have scopes on our guns ha ha uh we have a couple of ops that do have the sniper and marksman um it's not very often it is very once in a blue moon uh, Probably two or three ever. Yeah. 
Will there ever be main battle tanks and ops? We have a couple ops that do have tanks. Um, reason we don't do them as much is just because they're literally a tank. And um, not everybody wants to run in a tank. Uh, a lot of people want to do infantry and stuff like that. So uh, those mega tank ops happen also once in the blue moon. Um, Keep on sending in your questions, guys. We will uh, keep this going for a couple more minutes or until everybody's out of questions. Oh, I'm looking into Twitch now. I see some more questions, so stand by. Twitch. Uh, how often are basics run in squad? Um, like he said, one, two, uh, you can take a look at the SOT Help channel in our discord and it gives you a rough uh a rough look what times basics are usually ran um frenzy is there plans for pvp arma ops not, not sure. yet at I know there are a few guys who are certified pilots. Will there ever be a time where you guys open to more? Uh, I, I don't think we'll be opening up more than regulars or staff members. Um, I think that's just making sure quality is kept. Q CQC, I think that was covered earlier. Uh, soon TM is what the answer was. Uh, here will be known update on the hardcore mod that was set earlier. Soon TM. Waiting on OWI being responsive to us. Um, how are our ops selected for the schedule and will there ever be a public voting system? I don't know about public voting. Uh, our ops are selected by, uh, by Mission Dev and they uh, are fit into making sure that we're not doing the same map or doing the same op over and over. So um, that's how they're selected. Uh, is there a way we can get some feedback on staff apps, like constructive feed feedback to work on, or it's it's not it's not that um, it's we're just looking for guys that have been in the community. Uh, it's not anything you necessarily have to work on. It's just people, you know, we recognize and and you, you know you have to be trusted to be on staff. So that is is more of the reasoning behind it. We also. We also get a lot of staff apps as a as a community, and it, it would take a lot for us to go through and individually, you know, give every single person feedback in that sense. So, um, I know it sucks. I've been there um, when I was applying for teams back in the day myself to not get feedback for or get any hear back for why you don't get accepted for a team or or if you would get accepted for a team. Just keep at it. Me, make yourself known, make yourself visible, um, just like becoming a reg. Um, a lot of times people get brought on as a reg and then within the same day or same week, they get brought on the staff or at least as a trainee. So don't don't give up hope. Just keep trying at it and make yourself visible. Yeah, to piggyback off of what Dorf was saying, like for example, what we look for in SOT is people who are very active in the community who take a liking to... SOTT. So, as I replied to some, uh, Kimchi earlier, being a SOT helper really helps. And just, yeah, just making yourself visible, as Dorf said. Uh, Beck says, as far as being becoming a regular, are uh, people noticed on a public server or just the One Life events? They're noticed everywhere, man. Um, if you're active on the public server, if you're active only on One Life events, it, I mean, we we see all over uh prefer it you go one life event but i mean like um you can still be noticed on on uh both of those so um armored vehicle site techram says being looked at cool hyper maybe add some t uh add to the hashtag readme you may not be here back there are a lot of apps Uh, we're going to do this for probably another five minutes, guys. So get your questions in.
And again, if you're watching this on a uh, VOD afterwards, you can type in our um, Squad Ops channel in our Discord if you have any other questions. And a staff member will be able to help you there. Uh, added Discord channel, way to be notified if something's added to the calendar. That's one way to break our uh, our website. Um, just check it periodically, guys. Uh, there, there's stuff put on there all the time. Odds are, odds are, guys, if you make, if you just sign up at all, you're almost certain to make the op. It's it's been pretty uh, pretty rare these days to go an op without someone getting in. So just sign up, show up, and I promise you'll probably get in. Uh, I had a question about FTL training, but more so we can create an advanced FTL where we go over different maneuvers or formations, bounding, as well as how to handle moving from FTL to SL. Um, I'm sure it's all being handled in the FTL course. I, I haven't taken it myself, but um, it's something that can be talked about in SOT. Uh, to answer your question, Lemon, we are looking into it. It's something that takes time. I know I asked in the last meeting, but you guys consider changing FTL smoke launchers to HE launchers or just give a few rounds of HE? Uh, kind of become super human at that point. I think that's pretty, uh, that's, I think it's a hard no. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there have been a few trolls on the pub server lately. Will there be any chance of getting more admin patrols? If you guys are seeing trolling on the server, please go to the admin report channel. Uh, we're all busy, you know, adults at this point. Uh, we're not able to be around on the server at all time, and there's not always going to be an admin on the server. So that is the best way to get in touch with somebody if there are anything if there is anything going on that um needs to be fixed so please use the admin report channel could there be an event that is a few... again uh, i don't see that happening uh happy gilmore um, yeah, I don't see it, it being a one life event kind of thing, uh, over the occupation. Um, Boogie, if you don't mind me adding on to that, add on to it. Technically, no, but we will have in some cases closed events. <laughs> for testing in which you will be playing hardcore in a similar circumstance. It will be generally people who are basic certified. There will be a sign up just like all the others. Uh, that's not going to be for a little while though. Hyper, I understand uh, it takes a while for people to get on, but um, you know, with people with busy lives, man, I, I, there's not much we can really do other than, you know, you can't really force people to be on the server at all times, you know? Um, are you going to reintroduce specific graphic settings to squad operations? So uh, we took those off because uh, the main reason we had them on before was because of shadows. Um, people were able to see just shadows. Uh, when people saw shadows and others didn't, and it gave them an unfair advantage, so we turned tournament settings on. But now that you have to have shadows, um, there's really no reason for us to have that on. Also, it helps us get some more uh, some more people in that maybe couldn't have played before because of their uh, PC requirements. So um, I think that's a plus plus there. Two games on Wednesday. I, I we've never done two games on or two round or uh, two ops on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is working day for most, it's going to be quite difficult to get people to come out for two on Wednesday. Uh, 
uh, yeah, you can be a, uh, a sought, uh, sought helper, Bags. Um, regarding reporting in the public server, um, record your POV. No one gets banned or kicked on the spot. Yeah, record your stuff, guys, if you got any uh, problem players. Thank you, sir. From my dead team. Uh, we're going to close down questions here in a minute, guys, just to get the last questions in. Uh, for my dead team, how much experience is needed to be able to work uh, with them? I started to learn uh, the program, but not planning to sign up until later in the year. Rubba dubba. Yeah, we don't expect you guys to know the entirety of the SDK. Like a lot of engineering practices, you're going to be learning a lot as you go as well, particularly in a subject where there's absolutely no documentation and you kind of have to learn a lot from mentorship. So part of being a trainee would be, you know, getting some teaching, getting you started and helping you to learn that stuff as you go. Uh, are we doing other games like uh, Postscriptum or Hell at Loose? Um, Postscriptum is very, very dead. Uh, it's hard to get um, enough people to do it, uh, although we will do it once at a blue moon about it. Um, Hell at Loose, right now we can't run operations because uh, they don't have admin cam or uh, ability to host your own server. So um, it's a little bit difficult to do in Hell at Loose. When uh, Hell Let Loose has server support, we might try it. Sunny, when will we get an AAS only server in your dreams, bub? <laughs> okay. So, um, I think that is uh, going to be it for today, guys. I do appreciate everybody coming out. I do apologize for my voice. It was pretty uh it's pretty bad today, but uh I do appreciate everybody coming in and uh asking their questions. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh but yeah. Uh thank you guys for coming out and we'll see you guys next time.